What's up everyone? It's that time of the year again. The birds are singing, the sun is shining and the baby boomers are mowing their lawns again. That's right, summer is coming. And summer for me also means some of the most beautiful Central American species are going to hatch from their cocoons. Today I present you a male and a female of the Leucanella contempta windy. This is a species you've seen on my YouTube channel before, in fact I filmed her a few days ago. But the male here is something new, you haven't seen the male yet on my channel. So let's try and get a sharp image of this cutie here. As you can see it has very nice and bright colors. But also he is much smaller than this big female right here. So. Um, it's gonna be a surprise if they are willing to pair. I'm going to try my best, but I cannot guarantee that they will mate and produce offspring. I would love to breed this species for uh, one more generation. In fact, I haven't completed their life cycle yet. They came to me as cocoons. So um, I'm gonna need all the luck that I have. But um, I already have a male and female. That's all I need in theory. Now I just need good weather. Uh, they will only pair on warm nights outside in the garden with good ventilation. I think indoors may prove to be a little bit more problematic, but um, the good news is the female is two days old, which is very fresh. And the male just hatched from his cocoon, so he is the freshest he can be. Both specimens seem to be healthy. The weather seems to be alright. It's uh, sunny here. Good day. So all in all I would say everything is in my favor today, but you never know this hobby can be so much frustration, it can be so much stress, it can be so much failure and sometimes you just have to try over and over to succeed. But um, their beauty is definitely encouraging me to try my best. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this male and female here put them in this cage soon, leave them overnight. Actually, Leucanellas and also Automeras and their relatives like pairing in small cages. So if you are uh, a, if one of my viewers and you live in uh, South America or Central America, uh, that means there's probably hundreds of Automera species in your area, and you want to breed them, get a small cage. They prefer it over big cages. Why? I don't know but I've had more pairings in small cages than in big ones with the Saturnidae of this type. Wow! And they are simply amazing creatures, their beauty just boom it blows me away. So, Well I hope you guys enjoyed this video, I sure did. I'm gonna place them inside the cage anytime soon. Thanks for watching. All right, so um, the cage has been made. Using a small cage in here. Even included a small stick for laying eggs because uh, some females at Trinity they prefer to lay eggs on other surfaces than just netting in a cage. As you can see, it's a very small one. Just gonna put it in the corner here, in my garden. In a well ventilated area. Oops. There you go. Sorry, I had to close it for a second. Put it here in the corner. Now I'm gonna place some wood against it so the wind will not blow it away. And this is where they'll be for the night. Basically, uh, this garden shed here outside. Experiencing the outdoor environment. I have to apologize to all of you. I was going outside to check up on how my Leucanella are doing until I saw this I don't know if you can see it but here on top we have what I assume to be a male but I see that he is calling and extending the tip of his abdomen to release pheromones so that means that he actually a she. Now here's the big specimen which is a female 
So to sum it up, they are two females. Never expected this. I assumed automatically because of the massive size difference that they were male and female, but Bart did a big fat oopsie. Turns out that the second female, or it's actually a dwarf female, that means it's a miniature, a dwarf form of this species. So uh, <clears throat> in this cage I have two females, so which has zero chance of pairing. You see? <clears throat> Now, there we go, here's the small specimen. Can you see it? Ah, here you see the tip of his abdomen. Sorry, I'm holding this mobile phone in my mouth while I'm filming. But here you see the tip of the abdomen, and it's a female. See, this is a pheromone gland. So, so uh, this small one is a female. And, oh my god, this is going to be so bad footage, but... Anyways, these are two females, and I assumed because of the small size, one was male and the other female. I was completely wrong. Sorry for the bad footage, when I'm trying to film while holding my mob mobile phone inside my mouth, while I'm trying to speak and uh, use some lighting, but hey. Ooh, Moth Disco, as you can see, even a god like me makes mistakes. I should have checked the genitals, but I guess I did an oopsie and made an assumption without checking. Thanks for watching. This is Bart trying to pair two females. Epic fail.